Would you like flies with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have some flies with that. Wait, what? Hey, YouTube. Welcome to the most amazing top five. My name is Michael McCrudden. Sit back, subscribe, and let me entertain you. First off, I want to hear from you guys. What is your go to menu when you order from McDonald's? For me, it's a quarter pounder. And I tell you, I gotta quit them. I really do. Also, have any of you guys ever found a hair in one of your burgers? Once when I was a kid, I took all my hair clippings from a haircut and put them in one burger, and the lady nearly <laughs> shit a brick. She couldn't believe it. I also got a free burger. All right, let's jump into our list with the top five strange objects found in McDonald's food. By the way, McDonald's is not sponsoring this video. In fact, you're not gonna be too happy I made it. First up in the number five spot, we're gonna jump right into things with the syringe. Now this one comes to us from Reading, Massachusetts, where a then 14 year old girl bit into her burger only to discover a hollow piece of metal an inch long. Now this is actually my biggest fear on the planet. I have a huge phobia about swallowing a needle. I can't sew or nothing. It's actually a living nightmare. Investigators were able to trace the meat to a packaging plant back in Ohio, and they determined that it broke off while an animal was being vaccinated. That all happened prior to its slaughter. I guess it's good to know it's real beef. Moving on to the number four spot, we've got the Band-Aid. Now there's nothing worse than going to a pool and then seeing a used floating Band-Aid swimming its way towards you. Ugh. Oh, this video is gonna make me sick. Now imagine that band aid was in your fries. Now, this happened to a University of Illinois student, Lauren Coleman, back in 2005. She then went up to the manager of the restaurant and was like, uh, one of these things just doesn't belong here, and he apologized. He then found the culprit who had lost the band aid, and that person came out and apologized as well. I hope they didn't ask to, like, shake her hand because it's like, you've done enough already. Moving on to the number three spot, we've got some fries packing some extra protection. In 2009, out in Switzerland, a seven-year-old girl of all people found a condom nestled in her fries. The mother, she naturally called the police, and the domer, well, it was sent off to forensics to see if it had caused any risk to the young girl. I feel like this case landed on the desk at someone that works at CSI. All of a sudden, that red-haired guy's like, ooh, that girl almost got a case of STIs. Dun, dun, dun. We're gonna have to pay for her university tuition. Actually, school out in Switzerland, it's already paid for. So perhaps they gave her a lifetime supply of McDicks? Oh, that sounds inappropriate. Moving on to number two, we have the mouse salad story. If you haven't heard this one, ugh. It's gross. In 2006, football coach Todd Haley, then an assistant coach with the Dallas Cowboys, he took home a salad for his wife and his living babysitter. The ladies were thrilled. They wanted a salad to keep them looking slender. But when they opened it up, they found a six inch dead rat hanging outside. Uh, that one's for the babysitter. It all worked out for the coach in the end. He filed a lawsuit for $1.7 million and then settled out of court. And then he got promoted to be the head football coach. See when you got a bit of money, you know, things start working your way. Finally, in the number one spot, we have the notorious chicken head. No chicken? Or are they just add a chicken? This story comes to us from 2000. Catherine Ortega, a Virginia mother of two, bought some chicken wings at a local McDonald's. One of the pieces was slightly weird looking. On closer inspection, well, it turned out to be a fully formed chicken head. She first noticed the beak, then she saw the eyes. <clears throat> I hope you're watching this late at night. Like not before dinner, or lunch, or breakfast, when you're full. But not too full. Now I'm not really sure what happened with this one. I feel like she was paid money to keep it quiet. She did initially go to the local news, the press, and then everyone was talking about it and she's since gotten quiet. She isn't uh, clucking around. No chicken, or they just add a chicken. Who knows what I'm talking about? Let me know in the comments down below. All right guys, my name is Mike McCrudden. Thanks for checking out the most amazing top five. We do all sorts of fantastic videos on here. So if you haven't subscribed already, I do not know what you're waiting for, get to it. Let me know if you ever put hair in a burger or what you always get at McDonald's. And I'll see you guys in another video.